In this demonstration we're going to see how Wynyard Intelligence can be used to quickly find common links in data acquired from several mobile phone handsets and SIM cards. Each of these acquisitions may have been done for separate cases, possibly entirely unrelated to each other, maybe at separate locations, and perhaps even weeks or months apart. Wynyard Intelligence enables you to quickly find valuable information across this data that might otherwise remain hidden. So let's go ahead and sign on. The first thing I'll do is bring up all of the acquisitions that we have in the system. Each of these acquisitions was acquired originally by mobile device ingestion equipment and then the data was loaded into Wynyard Intelligence. An acquisition is just a container for one or more devices so for Bobby's acquisition we can see that we've got a SIM card and a handset and as I scroll down we can see all of the contacts that have been retrieved as part of that acquisition and also the endpoints. Now an endpoint most often is a phone number but an endpoint might also be an email address, a chat ID, uh, perhaps a shortcut to a phone number, anything that can participate as the endpoint of a communication. So all four of the acquisitions contain a, sim a similar amount of data. So our, our challenge now is to quickly find the common links across those acquisitions so we can focus on uh, associates and potential criminal networks. So let me show you how we can do that. I'm just going to select all of the acquisitions in the graph and then ask to find the common links across them. And the graph that uh, Wynyard Intelligence has returned to me is showing me all of the common entities and links across all four of those acquisitions. So I can pretty quickly see on the right hand side that I've got three common phone numbers um, that I'll be interested in following up. And on the left hand side we've also got a phone number here. Um, this has a different icon to the phone numbers on the right hand side because uh, this phone number has been identified by text mining the textual contents of the acquisitions. In this case by looking over on the right hand side I can see under the sources the icon tells me that that phone number has been identified from two uh, text messages and we'll look at this a bit more in the next graph as we continue our analysis. So what I'll do now is take the four phone numbers uh, that the graph has returned to me and because I'm going to want to keep focusing on these I'm going to add them to my bookmark list um, so I can keep referring back to them um, as my analysis continues. So I'm going to open a new graph now to continue the analysis. We'll just select all the entities, take them into the graph and then to start examining further I'm just going to say I want to expand whatever it is that we know about them and we've got this graph. Now I want to focus on uh, specifically the devices as I continue my analysis so I'm just going to remove the uh, acquisition containers from the graph that hasn't deleted them from the database it's just taken them out of the, uh, the graph uh, for me to continue my analysis and also I'm going to ask the graph to draw all of the connections in between all of the entities that are in it. Okay so there's three things that I'd like to point out at this point. The first um, is that we can see from the structure of the graph that it really does look like there's some association um, between these entities across those uh, independent acquisitions. We can see, you know, zooming in, that there's quite a bit of activity um, around Christine. Um, we've got Bobby here, also with a reasonable amount of activity. Um, if we move Dave down we can see Dave as well has a number of you know connections coming out of him so just just by finding the common links and looking at it visually it certainly does appear to us um, that we have uh, some common associates and activity going on. Um, the second thing that I'll point out is if we select this number um, here ending in 703 clearly there's a bit of activity associated around this number as well. Um, we can see that this number is known by three different contacts and clicking on these on the right will highlight the entity in the graph we can see that we've got dial a weed uh, g dog hiding over to the right and party time connect george and by clicking on each of these contacts we can see that party time connect has come from christine's handset dial a weed has come from albert 
and G dog has come from Bobby. So what we have here is one number known uh, by three different contact names uh, across three different devices from from three different people. Um, so clearly, probably this number as well is one that we would want to follow up on as part of our investigation. He's uh, obviously a bit of an interesting person. And the last thing I'd like to point out, which is zoom in on this bottom corner of the graph, this is the area um, that's got the phone number that we extracted from text mining. We can see from the right hand side that we've actually matched that phone number extracted from message text with an actual endpoint that came from one of the devices. And by looking at uh, that endpoint, we can see uh, the endpoint only appears uh, in Dave's acquisition, and Dave knows that person is Harry. And we don't actually know uh, anything more about that endpoint um, other than Dave calls him uh, Harry. But if we actually click on one of the text messages from which we extracted this number via text mining, um, just looking up here on the top right, we can see um, from the contents of that message that. Uh, Harry is certainly uh, someone in an interesting line of retail and probably someone that we want to um, focus on in our investigation. So I'm actually going to take that number that we've identified there and add him to my bookmark list as well. So there's another number of interest for us to um, follow up on. So just uh, very quickly what we've seen there is um, from the common links query just identifying those four common links, putting them to a, a graph and expanding the network of information that we know about those common links. Um, we can see that there's some associates and we've got another couple of um, lines of inquiry to follow up on. Let me quickly show you two other ways that we can visualize this information. Let's say that I wanted to have a look at the SMS activity for Christine uh, over time. I can do that by taking Christine to our own graph expanding the SMS messages and then bringing up the timeline. Um, and as I hover over items in the timeline, I'll, I'll get a summary of the message. I can click on an item in the timeline to find it and select it in the graph above. And over on the right, as we saw in the graph, when I've selected a message, you'll get details about the message appearing on the right hand side. So again, there's uh, some interesting text messages that uh, Christine has been participating in. Also in the graph uh, we can see these green icons right? and these indicate that the endpoint has some location information associated with it and when I've selected the item you can see all of the location reports um, down the right hand side. So if I were to take this item into its own graph and then ask to expand the locations. Um, clicking on a location when we look at the properties tab we can see that um, for this endpoint um, at this timestamp it was at that latitude and longitude. And again I can use um, the timeline here to see those location events distributed across time. But with the locations what I can also do is go to the map and we can see uh, those location events um, displayed on the map and in this case um, they're obviously within this particular area of the UK and again by expanding these we can see all of the different entities um, that are displayed on the map hovering over a pin um, gives us the name of the entity. But We'll just get back to our graph. Um, so, to wrap up, this demonstration has shown how with Wynyard Intelligence you can take multiple independent mobile device acquisitions and quickly find common links across them. Um, this helps you to speed up your analysis, discover connections that might otherwise remain hidden, and to maximize the value of your intelligence holdings.